that it actually turns out to be the Rona, yeah. you're out there mm-hmm. exposing people. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard to but, tell right. without a test. Right. Did but you- I, my understanding, and I'm not sure exactly how, how I got this impression, because it may, it may be, um, that I read it, but, um, I think that they, that was definitely something that they demanded, people demanded it. Mm-hmm. Um, of them, yeah. they, they weren't willingly. They weren't willingly um, trying to uniformly address the safety issues mm-hmm. until pressed. Right. So, so meaning that there was a period course. of right. So meaning there was a period of time when they had people who may have been wearing a bandana. Mm-hmm. And other people who were wearing, I don't know, what are they, N95. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's a huge discrepancy mm-hmm. between what actually counted and then yeah. you're not even, then you're not even, um, mm-hmm. in a situation where you're calculating what each particular state or jurisdiction is doing. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if you have a place that, like, Indiana was anal is all get out, uh-huh. well, then, well, mm-hmm. um, yeah. And so, I, guess, I guess related to that, um, I guess a question about, like, how, what your personal health concerns have been, and I don't know what your personal, like, health insurance situation is, especially because SHIP doesn't, like, since you're not an employee, they don't, they're not, I know, obligated Uh to give you health insurance if, like, that was a concern for you. It was. It was. um, I was able to, you know, take care. So, for example, my COVID tests and stuff were from the, um, Marion County um, Health Department, mm-hmm. and so that was. And I don't know if the whole state or, or it's just my county, but they offered mm-hmm. those for free. Mm-hmm. They offered them for free, and so I was able to take part of it mm-hmm. apart because of that. Mm-hmm. And so, but yeah, my you know, and my son actually got a free test as well, mm-hmm. and. Um, So, but had I needed antibiotics or something like that, um, and, and I just, you know, I guess I ended up going to a low cost facility Mm -hmm. to end up getting care as a way to save money. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, mean it. Did you guess, have access to like a private health insurance plan or something, or it doesn't like? Um, I have anywhere? a, I have an access, I have access to um, a state funded plan uh-huh. because um, my income has been low. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much what you know saved me mm-hmm. on on things was that had I not been in that situation. I think it could have been completely different Mm -hmm. because depending on your provider, SHIP required a um, return to work form. Mm -hmm. And and depending on the impression that, you know, or or what what your um, provider wanted to do in terms of seeing you Mm -hmm. before you um, were able to go back to work, Mm-hmm. <coughs> um, you might, that might have cost you another visit. Uh huh. I see. So there's all these so, sort of unexpected costs. Yeah. To get it being there able to get be, back to work. for sure. Yeah. And you, um, you mentioned that once shift cut you off, that was a huge financial blow to you. It How really was well, because because I put all my eggs in that basket because mm-hmm. I was doing so well. Mm-hmm. And um, the schools were closed here, mm-hmm. and um, so there wasn't a lot of you know opportunities. For example, right now I'm grading standardized tests, and mm-hmm. so there 
there wasn't as many opportunities for me, you know, to get out there and do mm -hmm. what I'm interested in doing. Yeah. Um, it was unheard of to get a job like in the restaurant industry yeah. because Everything they shows. were not hiring anybody else yeah. back because they had laid off mm -hmm. so many of their own employees. Yeah. So they weren't going to do that. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, you got to the situation where, well, that's not going to work. Now, it, plus the fact that, like, do I really even want to be out in the middle of that? Mm -hmm. The answer most of the time is like no, but I mean I would have done it. So no, yes. So, so basically, the way it played out for me mm -hmm. was, um, I took a hit when I first got let go, mm -hmm. and then I took, um, so you know, because it was right at Christmas time and my expenses were up and. To go and get a, any kind of financial assistance is during that time period, they're all closed. Mm -hmm. So there's nobody who's open. And mm -hmm. so that really delayed me what into kind of the first of the year. Oh, sorry. Right? I just wanted I've to ask to what kind of... I've had to get rent assistance. Uh -huh. I've had to get utility assistance. Uh-huh. Um, and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. And, you know, had, had I known... I mean, had I known what I knew, know now, mm -hmm. um, and I and I say it to people, yeah, it's a really great way that you can put in some money. But but I make half of what I made for um, at um, at shift for Instacart, mm -hmm. and um, so uh, and from unless you're some of the superstars. Mm -hmm. They are, um, um, the, I don't see that, that anybody's making what we used to make. Yeah. Unless, uh, like, unless you're still getting your matches mm -hmm. and you're still getting matched with affluent people. Yeah. If you've started picking up the people who are on a fixed and limited income mm -hmm. and you tip $2. Yeah. Um, and, and that's entirely, um, you know, mm -hmm. right. Um, you know, and I, I, I mean, I don't know how to say that nicely. I'm stalling because I don't know how else to say it. Because but I, the problem is, is that when the infrastructure gets to the point that instead of operating for fifteen dollars, and mm -hmm. there there used to be a funding formula yeah. for how they used to pay, and and but like if they're offering you eight to ten dollars a shop, yeah, a shop, and your person pays you. Two dollars, mm -hmm. and then you haven't even factored your thirty percent that you need yeah. to be taking out. It um, seems like what you're trying to get at is that their ambitions to expand are are incompatible with being being able to keep this as a sustainable uh, employment so. for for people. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So the shoppers are taking it right in in the butt. Mm -hmm. And yeah. one of the, I, I still haven't quite figured out their rationale for, um, like, how does it work? How is it beneficial to you when you um, are in a situation where you're constantly having your client base be frustrated mm -hmm. because there's no... Um, there's no consistency mm -hmm. in some of the things that they used to have when they had mm -hmm. reliable shoppers. But if you're constantly yeah. bringing in people and um, um, now I guess I don't know mm -hmm. exactly what to say because yeah. I feel like um, I guess it's to me it feels like you'd be losing people. Mm -hmm. How is that a sustainable business model? Yeah. yeah. If, um, you know, I don't, I don't get how that's a sustainable business model. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is a sustainable business model. Yeah. And um, so that's, I guess, what I have to say about, yeah. about that. But it does seem like the way they're cutting.